Okay, so today we're going to look at what do you do if your crew or your helm falls off the boat. Hi, it's Joe here for Joyrider TV. Today I'm joined by Luke. Hiya. Luke's taking one for the team today. He's going to be our man overboard. Usually, before anybody says you shouldn't be doing that in a drill, um, usually we didn't, wouldn't do this. We'd use some sort of item for practice, like a buoyancy aid with a weight tied to it. But because this is Joyrider TV and you guys deserve the highest possible quality, Luke is taking one for the team. All right, so we're going to go for three different methods of picking up the man overboard. Uh, firstly, if the helm falls overboard and the crew doesn't know how to steer the boat, very important. Secondly, the orthodox technique for picking up a man overboard. And thirdly, if it's so windy, you don't want to jibe or if you just don't want to jibe. Okay, so here's a small diagram of what route we're going to take after the man overboard. So this is the point where the man has fallen in. So we're going to sail away on a beam reach, so that's across the wind, bringing the boat into a jibe, quite far downwind, and then back up on a close reach, easing the sails out to slow down, pulling the sails in to speed up and then just heading up a little bit more, easing the sails out, bringing the man in by the windward shroud. Okay, so we're going for the orthodox technique this time. So here we are, we're sailing along. Everything starts off with sailing along. And then we didn't see it coming at all, but the crew falls overboard. Oh no! So first thing, is to spot where the crew is. He's waving, that's quite good. I'm also gonna let the jib off and we're gonna sail off on a beam reach and then we're going for a jibe. The reason we're jibing here is because we know the jibe won't fail and also it's gonna put us downwind a little bit, which means our approach back to the man overboard is going to be on a close reach. The close reach is definitely the best point of sail to approach on because that's where we have the biggest option to control our speed using the wind. So here we go, I can still see Luke. We're aiming to put Luke just here outside the windward shroud. There'll be arguments to say, shouldn't I put him between the hulls? If you have to put him up between the hulls, then yes. But the windward shroud is a very good spot because he's less likely to get hit by the dolphin striker. So I'm just using the main sheet to control the speed. Luke is treading water nicely. He seems quite calm. So I've even come in a little bit high there So I'll now go over to Luke, I'll grab him by the hand and then perhaps I'll suggest using the trapeze to get on. And we are tacking there, so I'll move across the boat to balance it. There we go. So that would be the orthodox method, although I did come in a little bit high, which means that when I sailed away from Luke in the water, I was sailing a little bit too far downwind. But we jibe round quite sharp. The reason that we jibe is so that we don't have to bear away a lot on the other tack. So although the orthodox catamaran technique is to jibe round, because you're more likely to succeed with your jibe and also that's going to take you more downwind more quickly. You may feel at some point that you really don't want to jibe. For example, if the wind is particularly strong, you may just be quite scared of the jibe. So in this situation, we're going to come away from the man overboard. It is going to require 
more distance because we're going to need to tack and then come really deep downwind so that once again we can approach our man overboard on the close reach easing the sails out to slow down pulling the sails in to speed up so the ideal is the jibe but if necessary go for the tack okay we're now going to go for option two which is going to be if we don't want to jibe so once again we're sailing along so how did you enjoy the cricket it was wonderful oh oh one mention of cricket we've got a man overboard there he is so once again i'm going to get a little bit of distance but i'm making sure that i can see the man overboard getting a little bit of distance will mean we have more options this time i'm going to tack round i am keeping an eye on our man overboard tacking round We have to turn the camera around here that is something that you won't have to do i'll leave the jib on the wrong side that's going to help us stop and now we're going to have to come quite deep downwind so then we can turn up to be next to luke the man overboard stopped in the same position so let's see how this goes a bit more tricky to judge you're stopping range because we're coming in on a more downwind point of sail so i'm coming up there i'm going to bring the traveler and the mainsail back in let's try to get a little bit closer there i've got the jib on the wrong side so the boat is less likely to tack are you actually shivering there luke Luke is cold, it's only 30 degrees today, but I think there's a valuable lesson there as well. The time when somebody is most likely to get hypothermia is on a hot day when they go out and they haven't got the correct gear on for sailing. You know, you might have a girl who comes out in a bikini, she falls off, off the boat, gets wet, she's then wet and she'll get cold whereas in the winter when it is cold nobody will go out sailing wearing a bikini the correct sailor will be wearing a wetsuit or a dry suit or the appropriate gear there you go all right so the third example is what if you're sailing with somebody who doesn't sail and the helmsman on the boat falls off so it's almost like Luke knew that was coming he grabbed the tiller extension and just pushed the boat up into the wind so that the boat doesn't sail off so that then the skipper who's fallen overboard can then swim back to the boat here we go, so I'm using the trapeze to get back on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Thank you, Luke. No problem. You've saved us all. I think you actually hit me. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so there we go. There's three different methods that you can use for your man overboard, but the uh, final one is key. Just if you are going out sailing with somebody who's not a sailor, just let them know that if you do happen to fall off the boat, uh, just to put the boat up into the wind, how to do that, uh, because it's quite easy to do. And if they know that's what they've got to do, it's gonna be a lot better for everybody involved. Um, this close reach as a line for approaching is also very good because you can control your speed by letting the sails out, pulling the sails in. You've also got a bit of wiggle room with your course as well on a close reach, which is nice. Okay, so thanks for watching. Thanks to Luke for jumping in. Um, I hope this has been useful and informative and uh, useful and it could help in the future. 
and uh, there we are. Thanks to everybody who's been supporting the channel, either through Patreon, if you want to get involved and sign up to Patreon, it's a great way of showing that you support the channel. Just follow the link in the description below. Um, there is the new Joyrider TV Giving It The Beans t-shirt available at totaljoyrider.com. So head over there, get yourself a Giving It The Beans t-shirt, then everybody will know what you give it. And that is the beans. Otherwise, thanks very much. and We'll see you next time for some more action on Joyrider TV.